Ocarina of Time ROM hacks are something that I've wanted to look into for years, and the fact that it took me so long to actually start looking into it is genuinely sad. But I'm glad I did, because this is already one of the coolest hacks I've ever seen. This is Zelda Dawn and Dusk, and it's fucking badass. The story of this game, and yes, it does have its own story, is that there was this kingdom that was divided into east and west because the west awakened a deadly beast in an attempt to gain control during a time of internal conflict. The beast was sealed away after a great war, but the possibility that it could awaken at any moment is still very real. So it's up to the hero of Dawn's side to put an end to it for good. The story is already really cool because it doesn't exist in the Ocarina Majora continuum. It's entirely its own thing. Nevertheless, the game is unmistakably Zelda. Zelda. You start out with minimal equipment, so you break into people's houses and slowly build up your arsenal to make the trek towards Duskside to destroy the monster that lies there. Immediately, the game presents you with this small, compact town full of secrets, charming locals, and that great happy town music. Just listen to that. You could just rush right into the danger without fully prepping, but that would be unwise. One of the greatest things about this game is the atmosphere. The small happy town of Don Grove is really sweet, but it's when you actually enter the forest that it really starts to pick up. It almost sounds like something from Twilight Princess. The first thing you'll notice about this game is how compact it is. It rewards observation very well. There are little secrets that you can miss but are rewarding if you don't miss them. And those secrets show up pretty frequently, so keep an eye out. The game has its share of puzzle solving, but it seems more concerned with action and observation. In terms of difficulty, it's pretty doable, although one part made me very angry, and that would be this part where you're on a moving platform and you have to fucking backflip over this deadly spiky log. And you gotta be very careful because you'll get flung into oblivion if you do it wrong. And even if you manage that, you get to this part where you have to wait for the platform to come back down and around so you can fall through this hole and land on it. And if you miss, you gotta do the whole thing again. Also, you'd better make sure you have some blue fire on you at all times. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a really bad time. And that's not a threat. That's a promise. Then there's the Duskside Palace, which is a stealth section where you have to light torches. It's fucking maddening. I hate this part more than anything else in the game. The presentation in this game is top notch. There's a very heavy contrast between the rich, thriving atmosphere of Dawnside and the desolate wasteland that is Duskside. In Dawnside, the music is very calm and almost serene, but then you go to Duskside and it just sounds so hopeless and full of despair and the graphics are all monochromatic and grey. Then you get to the Red Ice Cavern, which is just so mystical and creepy. Just listen to the music here. When playing a ROM hack or a mod, I tend to judge its quality against that of the original game, and I found that the best ROM hacks are the ones that are the most authentic. And I must say, this game has a level of quality to it that it could be mistaken for an official Zelda game, if it wasn't for its small size. Speaking of which, it's my understanding that this game can actually be played on original hardware. And not just that, but it works with the Nintendo 64 disk drive. Now, if you don't know what that is, I don't blame you. But it's an extremely rare add-on for the N64 that was only released in Japan. It uses magnetic discs unlike the base N64, and these discs were often used as add-on content or new games entirely. On eBay, they go for well over a thousand dollars. Yikes. Funny thing is that Nintendo was originally going to make at least one DD expansion for Ocarina of Time. But sadly, that never happened because the DD was a commercial failure. Oh well. In any case, as this is, I think, the first Zelda hack I played on this channel, I gotta say, if they're all this good, or even half as good, then I definitely gotta start playing more. Play it.